This is Amanda Bynes' house in Calabasas, California, valued at approximately $4 million. Former actress Amanda Bynes' career was the envy of both child stars and actors alike. With her comedic talent and captivating personality, she quickly rose to fame as one of Nickelodeon's top talents in the early 2000s. However, she more or less retreated into the shadows and away from the public eye in 2010 when she was still in her early 20s. At the age of 13, Bynes gained fame as a cast member on the popular children's variety show All That, where she showcased her skills alongside other notable talents such as Kenan Thompson, Nick Cannon, and more. She later went on to headline her own comedy series, The Amanda Show. References to Bynes being discovered as a star can be found in an episode of the docu-series Quiet On Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, which delves into the working conditions at Nickelodeon, the experiences of its stars, and the influence of producer Dan Schneider. I like it a lot more than the one I wore last night. I like the china bang, I like the blue, I like the body wave. Yay, this one's pretty cute, huh? In recent years, Amanda Bynes has had some serious struggles with her mental health and well-being, which has fans worrying about her. She's been spotted around Los Angeles and continues to share on social media as well. In this video, we'll take a look at Amanda's story, where she's lived over the years, and what she's up to now. Amanda Bynes, a former child star turned cultural icon, captivated audiences with her talent and charm throughout her acting career. Born on April 3rd, 1986 in Thousand Oaks, California, Bynes began her journey to stardom at a very young age. She quickly rose to prominence in the late 1990s and early 2000s with her roles in various TV shows and films, earning widespread acclaim for her comedic timing and natural acting talent. Bynes gained recognition for her work on the Nickelodeon sketch comedy series All That, and later starred in her own spin-off series The Amanda Show, which showcased her versatility as a performer. Bet I do. She keeps sending me to my room! Ugh. She transitioned seamlessly into the world of film, starring in hit movies such as Big Fat Liar, What a Girl Wants, and She's the Man. This solidified her status as a Hollywood darling. She also ventured into a more adult TV role, starring as Holly Tyler in the WB's What I Like About You, alongside former Beverly Hills 90210 star Jenny Garth. However, behind the scenes, Bynes faced personal struggles, including conflicts with her family, Reports suggest she ran away from home and sought emancipation from her parents during her teenage years. Despite her efforts, emancipation wasn't approved by a judge. In 2010, Amanda revealed she was retiring from acting via Twitter. Her departure from Hollywood was marked by struggles with substance abuse and mental health issues. After a series of legal troubles, including DUI arrests and a conservatorship under her parents, she stepped back from acting and battled addiction. In November 2018, Bynes and announced her sobriety after almost four years. Despite this, she continued to face challenges with her mental health. In 2020, she spent two months in treatment, addressing ongoing mental health issues. In February 2022, with the support of her parents, Bynes filed to end her conservatorship, which was terminated by a judge the following month. Despite her efforts to regain control of her life, she faced setbacks, including a 72-hour psychiatric cult in March 2023. I like it a lot more than the one I wore last night. I like the china bang, I like the blue, I like the body wave. Yay, this one's pretty cute, huh? Since then, Bynes has maintained a low profile, occasionally sharing updates on her social media platforms. Despite her challenges, she remains resilient, focusing on her well-being and seeking support from her loved ones as she navigates her journey to recovery. She's also recently popped up more on social media and was working on doing a podcast. So even though the podcast is doing really well and the uh, response has been great, while it's not known exactly where Amanda is currently living, we do know that she long owned a home in Calabasas, California, which there was no record of her selling. She bought the Mediterranean-style mini mansion in November 2011 for just over $1.8 million, and it boasts a spacious and comfortable layout. She bought the Mediterranean-style mini mansion in November 2011 for just over $1.8 million, and it boasts a spacious and comfortable layout with 4,618 square 
square feet. The stone and stucco home is mostly one floor, offering four bedrooms, 5.5 bathrooms, and an array of luxury amenities throughout. The interior shows tasteful upgrades and customizations, at least from over a decade ago. The home features an expansive living dining area adorned with a wood burning fireplace, high beam ceilings, and travertine tile floors. French doors open to the resort style backyard, creating a seamless indoor outdoor flow. Amanda's kitchen here is fully equipped with high-end appliances, granite countertops, and a charming breakfast room overlooking the courtyard. The master suite is sophisticated as they come with its crown moldings, private access to the backyard, and luxurious ensuite bathroom complete with jetted tub and steam shower. Outside, the grounds offer a serene escape with multiple terraces, a free-form swimming pool, and lush landscaping. While the decor might not suit everyone's taste, it's important to note that the listing photos were actually from before Miss Bynes moved in. While there were no records of Amanda selling that property, it did appear that in recent years she was renting her living spaces. At one point she was even living in New York, and while she returned to Los Angeles up until 2022, the former actress was frequently staying at sober living facilities for women. When Amanda was seeking to dissolve her conservatorship in 2022, the petition revealed that she had lived in a transitional house where she learned daily life skills and focused on on her therapeutic needs as well as worked towards developing a sustainable routine. And then around 2021, she moved into apartment style living on her own and has since been held accountable for ongoing random toxicology screenings, weekly apartment checks, and a weekly case management session with her case manager. More recently, Amanda has been spotted around Los Angeles, so it does appear she's still living here. Just the exact location of her home is unknown. The former actress who recently celebrated her 38th birthday was spotted going for a solo stroll in LA, vaping and wearing a trendy outfit that consisted of a black t-shirt, black tights, and all black high top sneakers. On another note, after the show's four episode premiere, there have definitely been questions surrounding Amanda Bynes' absence from the series Quiet on Set. The new docu-series, which delves into the alleged mistreatment of staff and child actors by Nickelodeon producer Dan Schneider, prominently features the actress and her show, The Amanda Show, in one of its episodes. However, despite being a central focus of the project, Bynes reportedly opted not to to take part in the series. According to TMZ, the actress claims she did not have the same experiences as her fellow cast members during her time at Nickelodeon, so this is why she didn't want to take part. So she didn't deem it relevant to participate in the interviews. The publication further states that Bynes is appreciative of her time with Nickelodeon and acknowledges the network's role in launching her career. Whatever the case may be, as Amanda Bynes navigates life beyond the spotlight, her journey shows her resilience and the importance of prioritizing mental health and self-care. While her future ventures are still uncertain, one thing is clear. Amanda Bynes' impact on the entertainment industry and pop culture will remain for generations to come. Personally, I was always a huge fan of Amanda and I would want to see more of her. While that wraps up today's video, answer this question for me before you go. For my Amanda Show fans, what was your favorite skit from the series? Let me know down in the comments which you got excited for watching. I was a fan, so I loved watching Moody's Point and The Girls Room. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.